I ain't gonna lie, bro. Gunplay is like a disappointment, bro. I ain't gonna lie. The man represent Dade County. He be, bro, it's so much else this man been taking lately. Just not even like L's, bro. Just being like a real one, bro. Like the man like been tripping lately, bro. We gonna dive into it all real quick, bro. But just, you guys don't know Gunplay, bro. Rapper from Miami. I'm from Broward. Broward and Miami, if you don't know, they literally right there. They literally on top of each other. So, you know, back then when it wasn't, you know, rappers coming from Broward and you had Miami and you had Rick Ross, Gunplay was right there behind him. And then you look, you feel me? Gunplay, Bobby on the dash right here, 13 million views. Like, he was a respected name like you feel me he was like he was doing his thing like he had a lot of songs with like he had a song with yg he had a lot of songs with mozzie yeah, i like like he got a, like a lot of um a lot of good music like from back in the day but like he's been taking so much else recently you know one thing i should have known too when i was watching a gunplay um video see look i mean this is what we're gonna talk about today him and his wife he pointed a damn ak-47 at his wife for interrupting his call of duty game and then his wife then posted videos so we will get into it she posted a video of him just apparently this man just got a drinking problem bro and he just be destroying shit and yelling at her so we're gonna get into it and all of this and see what's going on bro but i ain't mean to laugh but you know what should have like like connected everything together like way before bro was when um i watched a how to roll up video bro it was a series on youtube it was literally called how to roll up let me see if i can find it like how to roll with yeah these these videos these hot new hip hop videos like how to roll with and then they made one with gunplay right so i was watching this as a kid not as a kid but like whenever this video dropped five years ago what date was it that wasn't no five years ago motherfucker or oh, 2018 okay i was 18 years old 2018 so you know i'm like you know gunplay cool guys so i'm watching this video and he talking about how he put a crack in the damn weed bro so once you saying that i, I, I should have already known from back then that he was like tripping bro so i usually put cocaine in my shit but today since i have my publicist here my manager's here my publicist friend is here we're not doing that today. yeah so basically this incident here that she put this is his wife she posted this on their um instagram and a lot of girls be in the comments blaming her because they be saying that she be putting up with it and like she'll accept them for who she is like even this this is from it's basically a video she exposed from a long time ago of him getting drunk and destroying the tv but now she wants to post this 16 hours ago after this incident Incident happened where he freaking pointed an AK-47 at her head a couple days ago and got arrested. So people were saying that she's kind of like, you know, she's still with him, so she's engaging in it. And da, da, da. I get that. But at the same time, she is a victim, so it's like, dang. But let's get into this old one first. So this is older. This doesn't have anything to do with him pointing a gun at her for telling him to stop the Call of Duty. But let's just watch this and see what's going on. I don't think there's any audio for this first clip. I think he just goes on a rampage. This is pretty recent though. This is after he cut his dress. But the thing that fucks me up though, bro, is like gunplay preaches being a real one, bro. Being a real G, real Dade County, real uh, Miami, bro. And then you at home terrorizing your family, bro. That's like, it's like, come on, bro. Like, you know that's literally know? like you not real. Like, Did you throw out my shit? And you recording her. You think I care about a charge? Did you throw out all my shit? Do you think I care about a charge? Are you talking to your girl like This him, little bomb. <laughs> He's swallowing, bro. Like, who does that? <laughs> he's wildin', bro. And then this one, he woke up the next morning. The morning after, when he sobers up. This will give me a new TV now? Yeah, we gotta go get, we gotta go get a new TV. We'll be right back with the new one. <laughs> The and so that's like, like their whole relationship is probably built on that because like you see how she treating it like she recorded it. she she tried to expose everything after all oh, his hennessy poured out his hennessy and he kept buying liquor woody, 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 woody. but you feel me he do this she supposed to be the next day i don't, I don't know bro. I, if i was a girl i'd be trying to get a divorce like you with a whole psychopath and she talking about oh let's get my new tv like see even this person posted right here it's like girl stop it you making both y'all look sad like stop posting this if you're gonna stay with him harmful for your family like for real like she's tripping but that's just what happened today with reignited the flame and it just made me think about how he just got arrested last week for pointing a gun at her for telling him to turn on a call of duty after he did this for pouring out the liquor i'm sure he pointed a damn stick at her head for turning off the damn call of duty oh yeah let's look at um this video i wanted to check out too it was him explaining his side of the story after they got he got arrested gunplay telling his side of the story after the rapper was arrested for allegedly pointing a firearm at his wife while she was holding their baby so this is his explanation let's see what he got to ben say about Troy, this ben Troy, yeah, no not yet. With the bottle first. not yet she threw it all over me that's why i might smell like liquor she threw it all over me. All this is liquored up. Okay. <laughs> That's why I might smell like liquor. <laughs> you heard the car. I was like, uh-huh, uh-huh, buddy. So this is after, this is the night that he got arrested for pointing the gun at her after she told him to get off call of duty. Yet, she threw it all over me. That's why I might smell like liquor. Uh-huh. She threw it all over me. All this is liquored up. Okay. She grabbed a bottle of vodka, threw it all me, the vodka too. Boom. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, yo, you fucking now? I'm trying to like... And then she, then she goes into a, a drunk rage that she does when uh -huh. she mixes her 
liquors before it was Hennessy. Then it'll be Patron and Champagne, and she will. I would That's funny because he's talking that. That's probably literally him who's talking about. You know, he like she mixing her liquors. Like he's probably talking about himself. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying he. She. She totally innocent. She probably might. She might be doing Lizzy shit. But from what we were saying, bro, like, this man is literally just being a damn dickhead. Then it'll be Patron and Champagne, and she will. I would literally come downstairs and take her from the Uber downstairs to vomit from here to the her feet, and I have to walk her upstairs plenty of times. Right. It's on camera. Right. You can't. Yeah. She threw her wig off in the elevator. It's oh. here. It's all well documented, homie. So I'm like, <laughs> it's all well documented. Out. You know, I'm trying to like really calm it down. Uh-huh. And then, then she starts getting the the the, the bottles. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, start playing. Ah. How many bottles did she throw? Yeah, so he this is just crazy. I don't know. He just I don't know. People are saying he's lying. They say he's just lying. But after she done dropped this video, it looked like you just be wilding, bro. And this is just unhinged. Like you did not need to do that. You just smacked the TV up for no reason. And it's like y'all doing all that. Y'all got a jit together. And oh my gosh, did I not even tell y'all, bro? This man started a GoFundMe for his jit, bro, 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 bro. Hold on, hold on. I gotta find it on my page, bro. Okay, yeah, this is it right here. I couldn't find the actual GoFundMe. They probably took it down. But basically, bro, his their their kid. I don't know if they have a daughter or a son. I don't want to misjudge the kid but bro, their kid needed like a big surgery bro and this man didn't have any cheese to do it you feel me i'm not gonna knock him for making the go for me you feel me you gotta do what you gotta do you feel me everybody's human everybody got their family got their reasons bro this man made a go fund me raised 30k 30k to handle the surgery this is what he does the next day bro look what he does bro this is what he does this is literally like the next day or within the next week bro i understand rick ross the one that puts you on and everything bro but this man you just had a go for me for your jit bro you come to rick ross who's not even he's not even sitting up in the bed bro he's He's literally laying there like you're about to fucking plop grapes into his mouth like he's a king or something. For life, you know what I'm saying? For just for everything, man. Just for being a boss. I understand that, but bro, you just had to go fund me for 30k for your jet, bro. And just you know, and you're popping out. It looks it literally looks like the next day he popped out and used that money to buy Rick Ross a chain, bro. Alright. <laughs> so you know. Come on now. Right. So you know I got. I think it's when he cut his dreads, honestly. When he cut his dreads, he just went down here. Animal shelter. Animal. Like, Ross isn't even getting up out of bed, bro. This man isn't even raising his head, but he didn't even get the extra Versace pillow right here to fluff up his head, bro. Jit is sitting there, like, waiting for, like, a fucking bitch to come. My, my, my vibe, you know what I'm saying? I believe that. So. Ross don't need that, bro. Ross is rich as fuck. You needed that money. You had to go fund me. The ooh, the ooh, la, 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 la. Animal shelter, you already know what it is. And this how we live, this how we move. We Animal shelter, we roast the boss. <laughs> Dog always been dogs, you heard me? But yes, my sir. nigga, I appreciate this. And boy, that motherfucker heavy. Animal <laughs> shelter, I'm a rep it for life, I'm a keep it for life. I never sell it, bro. You know. Bro, he still never even flipped his head up, bro. He never put his head up, bro. And then he went off on a podcast. I, they got the podcast, but I don't want to get copyrighted on that. He just, I remember posting about this. He just went off on a podcast. That's what he said. It's what he said on the podcast after that video came out. So this is literally the timeline of events. Go phone me for a dog or for your child. Get the money. You drop Rick Ross a brand new chain that he didn't even have the damn audacity to pick up his head to thank you for. And if people start calling him out on the internet, this is what he says on a podcast. To every single one of you who's in fuck. Was that one on the GoFundMe and donated and went to get a refund? You never gave it in your heart. That's what happened too. People went to go get refunds after they saw that. He called. He said they didn't have a heart for doing that. They had a heart, bro. You literally took the money and spent it on Rick Ross. He would see me give my brother a gift. They all back want to say I bought it with GoFundMe money. I had to pay that back. So if you really want to be for real, I spent on that chain and got it right back instantly with no pressure. You want your money back? Here, take it. F all y'all and and peace. If you never gave from your heart, you gonna die a piece of s. Like you could, t- it's like you could tell he was just incorrect, bro. I don't know, bro. Like this is just the end of it. This is like a little rant, bro. Gun plays out. Bro. what's going on this is me from the future of the past i was just editing and i found out another l he had the dj played a 50 cent disc and he tried to grab the dj off the stand and it was just funny it wasn't that big but it was pretty crazy it was pretty stupid but yeah it's gonna play his ass oh,